Hello and welcome to Bolt Action Reloading. If you're interested in the annealing made perfect brass annealing system and upgrading it to the new Aztec software, stick around. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you want to see how I and the rescue here make our group smaller, start now by subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon. That way you get notified when I post new videos and you won't miss anything. If you guys are fans of the channel and you've been around a while, you'll know that I've had an annealing made perfect brass annealing system for well over a year here on the channel. I really like this system. I recommend it to anyone who's got the money to spend. And without a doubt, it has performed just as well as I could have possibly expected it to when it was sold to me. But if you guys have paid attention at all to the annealing made perfect system, you'll know that there's an upgrade now. So what are you going to do? Are you going to sell this one on eBay and buy a new one? Of course not, because we knew when we bought it that there was a USB port on the side of this and that software updates were possible. And now, that day has come. That is what we're going to talk about today. I don't want to bore the guys to tears that are very familiar with this system, but essentially, if you're going to anneal brass with this system, prior to this Aztec update, you have one of two options. Number one, you can go to their website, which has a very large list and very detailed list of different lots, brass manufacturers, and calibers for what settings you can use to anneal your brass with this system. One of the beauties of this system is simply by changing out the pilot to whatever caliber you intend to anneal and using a shell holder you can anneal just about any type of brass that's out there and believe me guys i have annealed a lot of brass that i've shot on this channel as the channel has moved along i did find that i still and when you're watching this video maybe it's on there now but they did not have any 6.5 creedmoor sig brass i was just getting ready to send some brass in to the guys that make this product for their free brass annealing service now some people will argue that it might not be free. You do have to pay the shipping to get it there, which, since it's in New Zealand, isn't extremely cheap. But when I was looking at that information and digging around a little bit, I saw at SHOT Show they announced this brand new software that they were going to have for their system called Aztec. And that really is the primary subject of our video today. Aztec will at minimum bring two different features to this system. The first, you can find your custom brass setting for any particular lot of brass that you have without actually having to send them a piece of brass. So not only you don't lose the four pieces of brass you used to use to actually get your appropriate setting, but you don't have to pay the expense of mailing it to them either. If you don't want to take their word for the settings that are online, you can simply test your own piece of brass, find out what it is, and use it on your own tabletop without any further hassle and certainly without having to wait. Now the other benefit is sort mode. And honestly, I'm not going to tell you at this point in time, good, bad, or indifferent, how valuable it is or exactly what we're going to use it for on the channel just yet. But I'm certainly welcome to your ideas down in the comment section. If you guys are familiar with the channel, you know that I'd like to run experiments testing what we feel to be common wisdom in this hobby to find out actually how to get the best performance every single time. But without further ado, I've actually had my code for quite a while and I haven't put it on yet. I want to make a video showing exactly how, how the process was for me and I was only going to have one opportunity to do so, and so it took me a while to put this together, but I'm gonna try and keep exactly what's on the screen on the computer, as well as what you might need to see on the screen at the same time, and hopefully we'll all get to where we need to go. Now, first things first, if you've had your needle a while and you lose things, like maybe I might, you're like, man, where was that cable? Because if you'll notice, and I'll put a shot on the screen, the USB port is not a standard USB port. Now, if you're kind of an old computer nerd, you might know that appears to me to be the same cable that we used to use with USB printers. So if you're looking for a replacement, that's kind of where I would go. However, if you do know what things look like or what things particularly got shipped in, you might be looking for this. And that's exactly what I was looking for. This particular tube might be where they shipped your pilots in when you got your system, as well as where they actually stored your cable. We'll pull out my pretty USB cable and this is what we're going to use to update our system. You guys are seeing it live in person. This is actually the first time I've ever used this USB cable. So I have full confidence that they shipped us high quality equipment and hopefully it will work. One of the other things you'll need to know, so now that we've got it, if you've already purchased your code, I'm going to be dealing with this because I've already purchased my code. It's online. This is kind of going to be a two-step process. So I know that if you just put the software on, you can actually not unlock the Aztec mode and you can actually add a few more programs in the software to do a couple other cartridges. None of the cartridges really apply to me, at least at this time. However, those will also be added to my system when we perform the Aztec upgrade. So without further ado, 
I'm going to turn on my screen recording software, get you guys fired up, and hopefully you guys will be able to see this live as we go through it. So we should be recording, guys. The first thing we're going to do is go to our web browser and go to Annealing Made Perfect's website. So at ampannealing.com, it is now available for download. So click here for more information. They do have videos if you guys want to see it. And we'll click there to download our Aztec installer. And to be honest, I can't remember. I know that I did watch the video that they came out with on this. I think I'm actually going to plug, before I run the installer, I'm going to plug the USB cable into the annealer. And I think there is a driver that Windows will find and have it installed so this will work a little bit more precisely. So again, I'm going to plug my USB cable in and look have the driver installed before I actually run my installation file. It says device is ready. It's set up and ready to go. One thing I probably should have mentioned before now, you do need to have an internet connection, but obviously since we went out to the internet to get the software, I'm kind of expecting that to already be something you've thought about. Now, obviously I'm showing you guys how to do this on a laptop. Don't feel this has to be done on a laptop. Uh, it's just the most convenient way for me to demonstrate this to you guys here on the reloading bench. So we'll click next, install, and as things take several minutes, I may actually chop up this video a little bit. Click yes. Finish. So we're going to go over to our start bar, go to annealer update. Click yes. And now it's going to say, obviously you, you guys can read your screen, attach the annealer to the PC and press the start button. They do say it, that this might take a little while, so I might speed this section up a little bit just for fun. Obviously, we're starting this at 9.24 p.m. I really don't think this is going to take nine hours, but we'll certainly let you guys know. But as fun as these bars are to watch, we obviously had no problems. It found it immediately. I think that they did have to, on their demonstration, hit start twice to get theirs to found. But obviously, ours found it immediately with no issues. So guys, as we get towards the end here, I did change the view on your screen a little bit so you could get a better idea of what the actual screen on the amp annealer was going to show as we were going through and updating our software. So it does say, please turn the annealer off and then on and press OK. So after we've got this amp annealing screen, we're going to turn it off. Back on, just like it says. It gives our new software update. We'll press OK. Now, before we go and change anything, you guys will see now that where our software has changed to have the option of having Aztec and Standard. You guys can obviously do this change, go into standard mode, and it's just going to allow you to go to programs higher than I believe 99 or somewhere in there was was the highest before. And now we've unlocked all these new ones all the way up to, there it was, 160. Now we're not going to show you any of those today. We're going to go back 
to our mode select and go try and go into Aztec mode. Aztec is locked. What are we going to do? We're going to, do we want to use a code to unlock Aztec? We're going to select yes. Now here's a screen where it's going to tell us that we can unlock Aztec. I'm going to have to go get my code. So I might show you a quick pop-up of the screen to see, but I'm not going to show you guys my code. I do think it's one-time use only, probably a little bit pointless, but as you guys can see, this is supposed to be a one-time use unlock code. You do need to be connected to their server to be able to go get it, but I've copied the code that I was received in my email. I'm going to select it here. I'm going to put it in there. So we're going to paste our code into our annealer. Click OK. It says our unlock has been accepted. Congratulations. Our unit is now down unlocked and Aztec is ready. Complete. Not even one hiccup, guys. I'm almost disappointed, but obviously not really. So we'll go into our mode now, Aztec. And there we go, guys. Aztec, patent pending. Sort, analyze, and run. All there. And I'm sure if you guys are interested in how this works, you'll stick around because we'll have more coverage here on the channel. We'll change views a little bit and summarize a little bit more of the detail. So now our software has obviously been updated. I thought about giving you guys a quick rundown of what I think I'll probably save that for another video. Talk about doing some very specific annealing tests. I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do guys yet, but if you want to have some input into that, please put a comment down in the comment section below. I certainly plan on doing some experimenting. This software allows you to make very precise changes. If you guys get your setting, you want it to be a little bit different, a little bit lower, a little bit higher. Maybe we'll take some brass, anneal some of it a little bit more than they recommend, a little bit less than they recommend, and kind of pattern that out to see exactly what ends up with the best statistics, what actually are we looking for. I'll give you a little bit better detail, I'm sure, in that video, but if you have any specific suggestions, again, put those in the comments section below. I really don't want to sound like an advertisement for these guys, but I've had really good luck with this annealer. These guys have second to none customer service out of anybody I've ever experienced, guys. Um, I really can't say enough about how quickly they take care of questions, how they want to make sure that you're happy with your purchase. So much so, guys, two actual things happened with this purchase, and I couldn't even make this stuff up because I was so blown away when it happened. The first thing that happened is that, like I mentioned, it took I wanted to get this on video for your guys, and so it, it took me a while to figure out the software I was going to need to use to install to actually do the recording when I was doing this because I wanted to give you guys a fairly high quality visual of what was going on. And plus, like I said, guys, I forgot what honestly the packaging looked like that came with mine. Um, so maybe if you couldn't find your cord and you didn't want to buy another one, that'll jog your memory. I actually got an email from, I believe it was Alex Finley, noticing I hadn't actually unlocked my annealer yet. And they wanted to make sure that I was having a good experience. And if I needed any help, please ask any questions to make sure that I was satisfied with my purchase and then my upgrade with my annealer went smoothly. I don't know about you guys, but I can tell you I've updated plenty of BIOS and firmwares in my day and doing other things of that nature. And I have never once had a manufacturer contact me and ask me if I was satisfied with my purchase, ask me if they could help in any way, shape or form. Certainly, I couldn't say enough good things about the customer service this company offers. The second thing, maybe even more stand up than the first. I know that I saw a lot of negative commentary that they were actually charging an additional. And again, like I say, initially, $250 for this Aztec upgrade. To tell you guys whether or not it's actually worth it right out of the gate, obviously, I cannot tell you that. Maybe this is the silliest money I've ever spent, but until I spend it, I really won't know. And certainly, if you guys are interested to know whether I'm happy with it, stick around. You'll find out. I'm going to tell you what I find on the channel. But like I'm sure a lot of other reloaders out there, I'm very interested in tweaking things a little bit and seeing what happens, see what changes. On this channel, we really try to get into what actually matters, what do you need to do that gives you better results, and what do you really not need to do, not waste your time with, not spend your money on, and this will certainly not be excluded from that. But, like I mentioned, this upgrade actually was supposed to add two things, the Aztec software to, do, to be able to set your own custom settings for your brass, which there's no arguing about what that does, and again, sort mode. Maybe at the time you're watching this video, there might be a thousand videos out on sort mode, but right now, the company has released a couple different things, 
And honestly, I believe at this time, they're still learning, just like we all are. This is very new technology. They wanted to put it in the relator's hands to find out exactly how it could benefit us and how we could use it to make our loads better. But I don't think they thought it was as polished as they thought it should have been. And so they actually came out. I received a personal phone call from the company that I purchased this from informing me that Annealing Made Perfect had actually reduced the cost of the upgrade after I had purchased it. And they got with me to, to give me a $55 refund to make it as though I'd paid exactly what they were going to offer it to everybody else for. And guys, I tell you, if that's not customer service, I don't know what is. I really, I've got nothing to complain about. I knew what I was getting when I bought my unlock code. They were kind enough to offer the, the discount after some of us early adopters initially purchased that code. And so I'm very, very happy with the customer service that I've gotten from here. That all being said, if you want to find out how this works out on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. That way you get notified when I post new videos. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it informative. If you have any questions or comments on the video, please put those in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the like button. If you guys have purchased this unlock code, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd like to do some messaging back and forth. I'd really like to see from a kneeler to a kneeler if when you get your settings for any particular brand and lot of brass, if that actually comes up the same. And that's one of the things that I plan on testing. I plan on taking some of the brass that I know is from the exact identical lot, coming up with that calibration number and finding out exactly how repeatable it is and what preparation we really need to do that. As I learn, I'm sure I'll be posting here on the channel so we can all learn together. Hey, but if you guys have found out some information already, I try to keep up with my comments the best I can. Put that information in the comment section below. I'm very interested to know what you guys think. If there's a lot of us out there that have the Aztec software, if we can actually make a little bit better master database of what these annealing settings are for particular lots of brass. But again, let me know in your comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you have any questions or comments, please put those in the comment section below. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button. Like always, guys, until next week, stay safe in small groups.